Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change the default language in Windows 10. So obviously this tutorial is for those who might have had a default installation of Windows 10 and it's not the correct language or perhaps you're installing this for another friend or another computer user and they do not speak the same native language that you do. So in this brief tutorial I'll be showing you how to change the default language within Windows 10. So this is going to be a very uh, straightforward tutorial and we're going to start by heading over to our start button and we're going to left click on that. Then we're going to left click on the settings option on the left side here. Now left click on the time and language tile, bottom left. Now left click on region and language. Now at this point you can actually select another country if you wanted to, as well as adding additional language. So let's just say, I don't know here, uh, let's just say we are in Spain and let's add a language. So let's add Spanish here just to keep it consistent. And then I know there's different dialects of Spanish so let's just say the official Spanish in Spain. So at that point you could left click on this additional language here and then left click on set as default So we saw we had a little notification saying that we were currently making some changes to our computer. So if I actually left click on that and then left click on options, we can see that it's currently downloading here. And we can see the breakdown for how much re is required in order to change our default language or how much it's actually required to download the Spanish language pack. So now this is download language pack. We're going to just left click on download here. So again, this will take a little while. And depending on what language you select, you might get some additional spell checking options. Just, um, it's probably a personal preference here. I really don't know the Spanish language too well. So I really could not make an educated decision as to what type of spell checking I'd want to be enabled here. So you just have to make that up on your own or ask your friend what kind of form they want. And we can see it's actually pretty quick here. And then we also have the ability to download a couple different options here for speech recognition as well as handwriting. So you can download them separately. And then we can also add additional features through here by just left clicking on it and then left click on add a feature. So at this point there's really not that much more to show. Just let the language finish installing on your computer and you should be good to go. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.